Russians might use explosives in the nuclear plant. Volodymyr Zelensky, the breaking new interview, Sunday morning on ABC's This Week. Kim Cattrall, next live. Hey, good morning, everyone. It is a few minutes before 5 a.m. This is a live look down at Long Beach this morning. Let's check in with Tony, a first look at today's forecast. Hey, good morning. Yeah, 4.56, not even 5 o'clock yet. Uh, if you're awake joining us, good morning to you. Uh, hopefully you're having a good coffee there. Well, get ready for a nice day, a nice weekend before a big warm up. Riverside 58 degrees as we're looking down right now. Uh, no marine layer clouds covering the IE, but uh, they are in some of our coastal spots. Burbank 60 degrees and the marine layer clouds should start to thin out for the most part as we move through the weekend into Monday where many people are going to be entering a heat wave. 62 right now in Van Nuys, 36 at Big Bear. So it's cold there, but it will warm up to really nice temperatures. 64 in Anaheim, 64 in Long Beach and Hawthorne is 66 right now. Late agrees, and we've been below that the last couple of days. It's been really nice and pleasant, um, but not too warm. That is coming though as we look at our satellite view where we have this troughing pattern. This is bringing that onshore flow, those cooler temperatures, the marine layer, and that's going to move out of the way and eventually be replaced by some high pressure. So let's show the map as we watch the future scan. There's the low pressure that moves out of the way as high pressure just builds and builds and builds as we get into Friday and that's when temperatures Thursday, Friday should start to peak and it looks like it might be even hanging on into next weekend. Uh, so it's going to be a warm trek in the next or then for some people a hot trek. LA Orange County 7 day forecast shows upper 70s very similar tomorrow. Then Monday you'll start to notice a change 82 degrees going above the average of 81 for downtown and 87 close to 90 possibly in some areas, but plenty of sunshine this coming week. Those overnight lows in the mid 60s. Valleys Inland Empire, we see similar conditions throughout uh, the whole weekend, 87 degrees, staying below 90, below average. And then more heat comes through, hitting triple digits by Wednesday in many areas. And you see 104, 106 possible in some spots, especially out towards um, the IE. And then triple digits for at least three days straight, so we have an excessive heat watch that'll go into effect on Tuesday. Beaches, uh, low 70s, then mid 70s, not too much change here. There's still enough onshore flow that'll bring some marine layer clouds, some cooler conditions, keeping it uh, pretty mild for the most part. Mountain areas though, look at this, 80 degrees this weekend. Big Bear, we saw at 36 degrees right now, a big warm up, and then close to 90 by Friday. That looks like it's gonna be the warmest, hottest day, so the mountains are under an excessive heat watch as well. And finally, the deserts, look at these triple digits popping up, 105, 105. 7108 by Thursday with Palm Springs getting pretty extreme at about 116, 117. So Mark and Irene really depends on where you're at, but for the most part, everyone's going to be uh, complaining how hot it is. Yeah, it is going to heat up <laughs> in the next few days. Tony, <laughs> thank you. Now let's take a look at some of our headlines. Now at five, a double shooting in a Walmart parking lot kills a teen boy. The investigation in La Habra underway this morning. Plus an alleged strip club serial killer just arrested here in SoCal. His sister is... And good morning, everyone. I'm Mark cutter -Robles. And I'm Irene Cruz. Many questions remain this morning after a teenage boy was shot and killed outside a Walmart in La Habra. A man was also wounded. The shooting happened in the parking lot of the Walmart on Imperial Highway and Beach Boulevard just before 9 last night. No word of any arrests, but police say there is no immediate risk to the community. A couple is facing murder charges for the death of a 12-year-old boy in attempted murder of a 14-year-old girl in La Long Beach. 20 year old Rashawn Strother and 21 year old Destiny Scipio were both charged with murder and attempted murder. Long Beach police say Strother is a known gang member and was already in custody for a different attempted murder. Back on May 9th,